you can use a racer and basically take it right off. It's just like using compound in a rag. A lot of people always come to us and will basically ask, what do I need to do to take care of my car? The one thing that you always want to do is keep your car clean. Best thing to do is get you a good car wash made for automotive. Go ahead and keep your car clean. Make sure you get a good chamois. Make sure you chamois it down. The water spots on a car after you clean the car are horrible because what happens is, is they collect the dust as it dries and it leaves water spots. Another thing when it comes to water spots is acid rain. People always talk about acid rain, what it is. Acid rain basically is sulfur that comes from the air mixed with carbon, mixed with nitrogen. And water basically becomes a natural sulfuric acid. You take places, say Texas, that goes for a long period of time with no rain, they start getting a very, very high sulfur content in the air. What happens is you'll have one of those downpours. It basically cleans the air, the atmosphere, and drops that sulfur on top of your car finish. Then the sun comes out, and it basically those water droplets act like a magnifying glass. And it basically just burns into that paint. So that's kind of like, it doesn't happen every time, but that's basically what sulfuric acid is. People talk about waxing cars. Um, I don't wax mine, but there are a lot of good waxes out there. The biggest thing you always want is have a wax with carnauba in it. Uh, carnauba is a wax that comes from a leaf in Brazil. Uh, it's basically natural silicone. It's used in cosmetics. It's used in any number of things. Mothers makes one. Meguiar's makes one. Eagle. Anyone good uses one. Always read the, uh, the directions as far as um, both washing and waxing. Don't do stuff in the direct sun. You always want to wash your car in the shade. You want to dry your car in the shade. You want to wax your car in the shade. You do not want to do anything out on a hot car. Everything dries fast, and that just doesn't get you anywhere in the long run. Um, a couple hacks that I have told people over the course of time. Um, a lot of times you'll get like, um, maybe a car door will get a smudge on your car, and it'll put like a mark on it. It won't go all the way through the paint, but it's right there. You can use a racer and basically take it right off. It's just like using compound in a rag. So you can take just a regular racer and just go across it and it'll pull a lot of the smudges off. Another thing is um, <clears throat> getting tar on the side of your car. Or say you've gone through um, some, somebody that's just striped some lines on the road and they've got some of that white paint up. Acetone that you can get at the local hardware store will do a lot of stuff. It will not hurt the finish of your car. It will attack some plastics. Uh, the black, shiny plastic mirrors, your black handles, do not put acetone on those. The car is finished, the paint, you can definitely put acetone in. It will not hurt it, it dries real fast. That's what makes it so nice, is it's real hot, but it just evaporates before it attacks the finish of a car. I always tell everybody, you can get some at the hardware store, nine bucks, and it will do a lot of things. Always test a little spot, you know. Um, other than that, that's probably about the most important things as far as taking care of a vehicle.